everybody, this is Praxis, and my dad and I today are working on this first floor area. This whole wall is being sheathed just today. I just started that this morning. I was working on this wall yesterday. Uh, and uh, today, one of the big things that uh, we're kind of running up against is that we, we're kind of like fighting over the ladder. Not violently, at least not, you know, mostly not. But uh, we've got one of these freestanding ladders, and while my dad was doing this, uh, this wall at the beginning of the day, uh, and he could just stand there and work on it, and I'm working on the decking up here. I was using the ladder, but now that it's getting higher, you know, he needs the ladder, I need the ladder, we're kind of going back and forth. And that's one of the big challenges when you're working on a, a project like this with multiple people is, you know, even if the people are very functional, even if they really know what they're doing, if they don't necessarily come with their own tools and their own ladders, you can get a lot of your friends, and a lot of people talk about this, like, you know, they're going to do a big project, you know, house raising or whatever, get everyone in there, and sometimes you just have not even a problem of too many cooks, but just a problem of too many people and really not enough things to do at any one given time. Now, that doesn't apply if you're a professional, uh, you know, general contractor and you kind of know how to utilize a lot of people, but for someone where this is not your profession and that certainly, you know, uh, describes me. Uh, if you have a lot of people and they're all showing up, especially if you're paying these people, you could be spending an awful lot of money and, you know, having twice as many people show up does not necessarily make you twice as productive. And, and, and like kind of the nightmare scenario that I've heard of, uh, of happening to a number of people is, you know, you have one person, they're just chopping wood and like, you know, cutting it to length and then running it to people. And one part of the process gets process gets ahead of the another part of the process and this person just is going crazy with wood chopping and then you find by chopping I mean cutting you know. uh, this person gets like way ahead and then you find out oh wait you know that's that person cut way more wood than we need and now they've taken all these pieces that need to be you know a certain length and they've all been shortened for something else but we didn't yeah you know, things can get confused when you have a lot of people so when you're planning a process a project like this it's important to not get too ambitious with how many people you think are going to show up and then magically everyone will just have this amazing synergy and everything's going to work out perfectly. Sometimes having just a couple of people, you know, one person, two per people, three people maybe, is kind of the magic number if you don't do this professionally. So again, if you're going to hop into this, don't get all these, uh, you know, amazing, you know, visions about like, you know, all these people are going to show up, we're going to do the thing in a couple of weeks because I've got like 20 or 30 people and we're all going to, you know, you know, throw the thing out. Again, if it's your profession and you know how to orchestrate that and manage that, that's one thing. But if you're like me and most people, it, that can just be like a huge waste of resources. And at worst, things can just go crazy and out of control. That's it. But as you can see, things are going pretty well here as long as my dad and I can like keep tempers down and, uh, you know, I'll let him have the ladder for a little bit. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.